I'll be showing you how to make my own invention called the Wild Chain. It's very similar to the Starburst, the way to make it and how it looks. Let's get started. So, what you'll need is your loom, your hook, and your bands. Okay. You're going to need your loom shaped like this and the arrow starting that way. The arrow facing that way. Um, you want to take your first rubber band and you want to stretch it from this peg to this peg. Grab your next one and do the same thing. This peg to this peg. This peg to this peg. You want to continue this all the way down the loom and stop right here and you want to put stretch the band right here to here. Um, so when you end right, come right there, you would stretch your band and put it to this bag, to this bag. Now, with your next rubber band, you want to stretch it from this peg to this peg. You want to do the same thing on the, from the other side on this side, and you want to do stretch the band right there. Okay, so when you it stop right here, you want to stretch your rubber band right here to here, that peg to that peg. Now, next, you want to push all these bands down. Okay, so you want to grab your neck, your first rubber band. You want to stretch it to this peg, to this peg. Now you want to grab your next one, this peg, to this peg. Grab your next one, this peg to this peg. Then you want to go all the way to this one and stretch it from this peg to this peg. Push it down. This peg to this peg. Okay. Then you want to grab your next color. You want to put it this peg to this peg. Then you want to do the same thing. This peg to this peg this peg to this peg this peg to this peg and this peg to this peg you want to be continuing this all the way up the loom this peg to this peg this peg to this peg this peg to this peg this peg to that peg in this peg, Jeff's peg. Okay, so when you end like this, you still want to grab your next color and just stretch it that band. Okay, now we're on to looping. You want to turn your loom all the way around so the arrow is facing toward you. Okay. Now you want to get your cap band. You want to get your ba rubber band and make a cap band. Twist into it, a figure eight, and put it on your two fingers. Put it on this peg. Okay. So. You want to go underneath this cap band and grab the blue the blue band, the first one, and loop it forward. Okay. Now you want to grab your first server band, the green one, this one, and you want to loop it over here. You want to grab your next one, and loop it over here. 
You want to grab your next one and loop it over here. See how it's like kind of like a pattern. It's that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, and then forward. Then grab this one and pull it this way. Now, you want to grab your first one and pull it over this peg. Then you want to grab your next one, put over this peg. You want to continue the same pattern all the way up the loom. I'll show you one more time though. This this over van goes over here. Grab the next one. And this over van goes over here. Grab the first one over here. Grab the next one. And put it over here. Grab the next one. Put it over here. The next one over here, and the last one over here. Okay, continue this all the way to the loom. Okay, at the end, we'll loop this right here. Okay, now we're going to be looping the perimeter. You want to put your hook underneath these, this cap band, and you want to grab the first rubber band and put it over here. Now you want to go underneath these bands and grab the last one and loom it. To this peg right here. Under, go underneath these bands and grab the last one and loom it forward. You want to be doing this all the way up the loom. Okay, when you get to right here, grab the bottom band, pull it over to this peg. Okay, so it should look like this. Now, you want to go back to this cat band, and you want to go underneath it, and grab the last band, and pull it over to this peg. You want to go underneath these rubber bands, and grab the bottle one and pull it over this peg. So all you're doing is going underneath these bands and grabbing the bottle one the whole time. Continuing this all the way up the one.
So, you want to grab the bottom one and pull it over this pick. Okay, next, you want to stick your hook in this last peg. Make sure you are you got all of the bands and stick it out. Grab your next rubber band and continue holding onto it. Put it onto that hook, the hook through the rubber bands, and put it the other side on the hook. Push these two all the way into the fat part. Now it's time to take it off. Use a gentle side to side motion. Yay! That's what it should look like. It's very similar to the Starburst. Now, it's time to make the extension. You want to turn your limb around again so the arrow is facing away from you. Place your hook down, and now you're going to be making your extension. So you want to grab a rubber band, stretch it from this peg to this peg, push it down. Grab your next color, Stretch it from this peg to that peg. Grab your next one, this peg to this peg, and push push that down. You want to um, continue that pattern, maybe all the way up the loom, but it depends on how big your wrist is. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Now, you want to stretch these two rubber bands, put one finger through both of them, and another one through both of them. Take them out off your hook, and put that to the side. Now you want to stretch these two bands onto this peg and that peg. Okay. Now, we're going to be looming. Turn your loom around so the arrow is facing toward you. You want to put put your hook and through this band and grab the bottom band. Hook it to right here. Go in and grab the bottom band and pull it over this peg. Grab, go in, grab the bottom, and pull it to this peg. You want to continue this all the way to the end. Go in these two and grab the bottom band. Okay. Now that you reached the end, it should look like this. Okay. You want to grab these two bands with the hook and stretch them to that peg. Now, you want to grab your C clip and you want to fasten it, put it on these two rubber bands. There you go. Now you can pull it off. There you go. Now grab your C clip and put it on like that. It should look like this. I hope you enjoyed making this bracelet in the tutorial. Um, Bye.